Hey, so what's up? So, um, I decided to make a video, uh, logging my journey, um, my recovery from, um, an Achilles heel rupture that I just had last week on the 19th. Um, so tomorrow will make one week since the injury, uh, playing basketball. Um, had an appointment Tuesday, uh, with the UOM orthopedics and, uh, got an ultrasound. And uh, I decided to go with the non-surgical route um, to avoid the risk of getting an um, infection or um, nerve damage. Even though it was a minimal risk, um, the doctor was open and honest about it. And he kind of described to me that there was no optimal gain from getting the surgery um, unless I was an NFL player or an NBA player or somebody that was had some type of sports career at risk uh, because the uh, performance after the surgery um, versus the um, non-surgical approach is very difficult uh, to measure. Um, so since I had none, of that on, had none of that to lose, I decided to just go the safest route for me. Um, and more research even revealed that um, only certain places in the U.S. are there are spikes in people getting surgery. Other places in the world, uh, most people and most doctors are recommending that you just let the body heal itself. Um, but he did say one of the best things that I had going for me is that when I um, initially um, had the injury, um, I felt like somebody kicked me. But being a basketball fan and seeing um, Chauncey Billups, um, Isaiah Thomas, and Kobe, um, when I actually watched those games and watched those Achilles tears and um, started you know, kind of wondering, wow, how did that happen? I remember those looks they had. It's like literally you feel it, a kick in your heel. Because I thought a ball bounced into the court. So I looked back over my shoulder and um, there was nothing there. And then when I tried to stand up on my left foot and there was nothing there. It's like a dead foot. I mean, I had literally could get no lift to stand up on it. I knew right at that moment that um, from that feeling of that pop that it was an Achilles tear or rupture. So um, I got in the car, immediately went to UM Hospital. And the, um, the thing that he, he said that made the biggest difference um, is that first initial week is that when you get that initial splint that the doctors or the PA or whomever sudden splint that they leave your foot at a 20% incline um, which means that they don't leave it at 90 degrees they don't have your toes pointing up it has to be at a 20% incline um, with your toe pointing down to help the tendon start to initial healing because the, the body as he explained to me is absolutely its own mechanic. It'll take care of most things that you just get to give it the direction to go in and it'll heal itself. But um, that, that helped me out a lot. So uh, my journey is going to be anywhere between, um, uh, what did he give me? Four weeks by initial appointment. He'll, he'll take a look at it. I'll take it out of the cast. And then um, I could go to the boot as early as uh, four weeks. And then the latest six weeks, and then I'll get to walk in the boot. And then um, I should be back um, to normal activities, um, as such as walking in eight weeks, and um, probably be able to get out and do some cardio, some real running or whatever, probably in up to eight months. But I'm, I'm going to give myself plenty of time. Um, I don't, I'm getting older. Uh, so. I have respect for Father Time and respect for the miles I put on my body over the years um, as a soldier and, and as a uh, weekend warrior athlete. Uh, so I'm going to give it as much time as possible. Um, I do believe that this is it for basketball for me. Um, um, actually, I wasn't even really playing. I was out with my, one of my nephews, and he challenged me to a game of one-on-one, -on -one and um, I let him get in the league, and then. I decided that uh, I was going to take the lead back and snatch the victory right from him. Um, and, uh, you know, my body just wasn't ready for what my mind told it he could do. But I'm going to try to log this journey. I know I'm getting long-winded and all over the place. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to log this journey um, and let you know what happens in my next appointment in another uh, August 6th, which is be about another two weeks from now. Let you know the doctor says. Um, and put it out there. A lot of videos on YouTube help me make a decision. A lot of people out there getting non-surgical. Um, you know, that risk of infection and that risk of uh, the nerve 
them is just to gain a three-week advantage. You know, it's just wouldn't worth it. You know, zero chance of an infection and zero chance of a nerve damage if you just go to normal route and follow the doctor's orders. I should be good to go. But um, I'm going to cut it off here. Um, try to put this on YouTube and be on my Facebook page. But uh, it's going to be a long journey, but I'm ready for it. All right, out of here.